Okay, so let's review um, some of the important uh, subsets of real numbers in our uh, diagram of numbers. Um, you notice I've left uh, some of the um, uh, slots in our diagram empty because um, this includes types of numbers that uh, we haven't studied yet in the course, uh, but we're going to study later. Um, let's start at the bottom of the diagram with the natural numbers, also known as the counting numbers. So these are the positive whole numbers, and we use these numbers to count with. So remember, uh, one important application, but not the only application of numbers, is to measure quantities. And one way we measure quantities is by counting a quantity. And um, natural numbers are numbers uh, that we can use to uh, count sets. So now the natural numbers are included in a larger set of numbers known as the integers. So this is the positive whole numbers plus zero plus the negatives of the positive whole numbers. So numbers like minus 10 um, or zero would also be included in the set of integers. So every natural number is also uh, an integer. Now the integers are included in a much larger set of numbers called the rational numbers. Um, rational numbers are numbers that can be written as fractions. Uh, so numbers like 22 over 7, 22 sevenths, that's a rational number. Um, also numbers that can be written as terminating decimals, like 1.25, are decimals that don't terminate but repeat. These are also examples of rational numbers. Now complementary to the rational numbers are the irrational numbers. These are numbers which uh, cannot be written as fractions or cannot be written as uh, terminating or repeating decimals. So examples of irrational numbers would be numbers like square root of 2. Anytime uh, you extract uh, square root of a number that's not a perfect square, uh, that's going to be an irrational number. And then special constants like pi, the number pi, which is important in geometry, or the number e, which is important in calculus. These are also examples of irrational numbers. And then more unusual numbers uh, decimal numbers that, again, do not terminate but do not repeat, uh, these would also be examples of irrational numbers. So this number, 5.25, 225, 2225, 2225, that's a non-repeating, non-terminating decimal, and therefore that's also an example of an irrational number. So when you put the irrational number and the rational numbers together, uh, you get this large set of numbers known as the real numbers. So this includes most of the numbers that you're familiar with uh, so far. Um, and we can think of a real number, uh, one way to define a real number is any number that can be, uh, or that occupies a position uh, on the real number line or any number that can be plotted on a real number line. So again, as I pointed out earlier, there are other types of numbers other than real numbers, uh, and we're going to learn about them later in the course. Uh, but I have, so this diagram is actually larger uh, than uh, what you see now. Uh, but we're not going to fill in, uh, 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 we're not going to discuss these other types of numbers until uh, later.